What's going on guys, Divided here, and today we are back with another MCP, no, MCJE video, Java Edition, technically it's Java Edition on your mobile device, now I know I'm a little bit late to this, it's, uh, I've actually been trying to explore this on a uh on the s7 which is you know a bit older flagship device but anyways enough for me so today i'm going to be showing you how to install pojav launcher i've not i've never heard anyone actually actually say the name so let's just call it pojav launcher anyway so the first thing you're going to do is head to the first link in the description or you can search pojav launcher on google once you get there you're going to head to this website or it's going to lead you to the next one anyway so if you're here you're gonna head and press this one. Now the one below is the iOS. So if you're on iOS, just click the one below and then the instructions would be purely the same. So you're gonna head down. You're gonna head down a bit over here. You're gonna head down and then you're gonna head into the releases. Now with uh, the recording of this video, the latest one is January 25, at least for the stable builds, not the developer ones. So you head over here and then press app debug. Now it does explain what the difference between app debug is, so you can read it. And I'm just gonna let this download finish and we're gonna continue the video from there. Okay, so the download is finished. You're gonna click the APK or whatever your device is on. And you're gonna click install. You're gonna wait for it to install. And then once it's installed, you're gonna wanna press allow for the storage access. And then you're gonna let Pajab Launcher load for a while. It's gonna unpack some stuff. So just, you know, wait for it to finish. Okay, so you're going to be presented with this one and you have the option to place in your real Java account. Now, I'm not going to do that because, okay. So you can just, you know, place in a, ra a random uh, username, whatever you want really. And then you can just click on keep me logged in and log in as offline account since you're not going to be using your real Java account. But if you do, you can place it in. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to pick the version you're going to be playing on. So obviously, we're gonna be heading for the latest one. Then you're just you're just gonna press play. Now you're gonna let your device download the, the necessary stuff to be able to play. So let's just wait for this part. And okay, so you're gonna reach this part over here where the button says skip. You can actually just skip it because you don't actually need it. Like they, these other assets aren't important. So you do have the option to skip it. I'm just gonna skip it for the sake of the video. You can skip it, but you know, I just skip it. It's fine. <laughs> so you, depends depending on what device you have, what CPU you have or GPU you have. I mean, it this the launcher is gonna load faster or slower. In my case, it does take a while. Right now, it's not sped up, but it usually takes around one minute for the Mojang red loading screen to show up. Is that right there? See, none of this vip, none of the parts here were sped up. So I talked through that whole thing. This is actually real time talking. So I'm just gonna keep talking just so that you can see how long it's gonna take for my device to load. It's an S7, it's an Exynos, so the the, uh, the last best Exynos, I guess. But yeah, it does take a while for it to load. And if it does take longer in yours, I would say wait about maybe two to three minutes. If it doesn't load after that or if it just crashes, that means your device isn't supported, which kind of sucks, but don't worry. Because probably in a few months your device will be supported. Let's just, you know, cheer on the developers. And yeah, just trying to wait for the thing to load. Alright, there you go. So my screen, others actually have a the background picture playing in theirs. I mean like moving in theirs, but I actually don't have it. For some reason, I'm not sure why. So you do have all these GUI stuff. You can set your mouse on, you can set oh nope. You can set your other stuff. So I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be loading a world to show you guys that it takes, for me at least, it takes really long for me to create a world, not like really, really long. But while we're waiting for the world to load, you got over here your GUI, with, which, you know, shows your GUI. Here you got the INV, which is your inventory once you load in the world. The PRI, I'm not sure what that stands for, but when I pressed it, it breaks blocks that's what's in my head right now but I could totally be wrong the SEC I'm not sure also what it is so yeah now you got the middle buttons on the left and the right the right side I believe is to fly and jump the left side is to sneak 
you cannot do the same option where you can swap the two buttons unlike MCPE so that kind of sucks since I'm really used to that anyways you got your third person button which is you know to switch the switch through first person to third person if you want that now you got the tab and the keyboard and your chat and yeah that's basically it for the GUI stuff and your mouse on for the top right and we are just waiting for this thing to load I'm really wanting to show you guys how long it takes for me to do this I cannot actually run run uh, Java shaders I did try the zinc build the developers build so it doesn't work for me which kind of sucks the S7 is probably isn't supported but I would love to be a developer for the game a developer a tester I mean I'm sorry uh, yeah you know just to reach out the range more a little bit maybe it can help anyways 100% this should be uh, it should load anytime now let's just be patient okay blah white screen and we are in the game so obviously once you go in you're treated with this now if you press uh, back on your device you can actually change your video settings over here so you got this stuff depends on you what uh, runs the smoothest for you if you if your device has a good you know the latest GPUs then that's cool if your device is a toaster like mine sort of well you got to stay on the lowest sorry I keep getting here lowest uh, options so that's basically it other than that you can install Optifine to make the the frame rate better but that's for another video anyways yeah that's basically it i just wanted to you know put out a video for this because i am going to be putting out more Java launcher videos in the future i hope so if i can you know get supported but yeah that's basically it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe comment down below for any future suggestions i will be going back to my shader reviews and a possible survival series so yeah see you guys next time goodbye peace